Lord, wash away my guilt. Hallelujah. <coughs> Kindly turn to page L53. L53. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. Throw me, wash me more and more for my guilt, and cleanse me for my sin. My offense is truly unloaded. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, I have sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. Let me, meet, let me be justified against sentence, and we without reproach with your church. Who see in guilt I was born, a sinner as I conceive. <coughs> Indeed, your love, true in the heart, then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. Or purify me, and then I shall be clean. Or wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoice in their gladness, that the bones should be crushed by your wrath. For my sins turn away your face, and not at all my guilt. A pure heart created for me, O God, put a strength of spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with the spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your grace, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall reach out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering for me you refused. My sacrifice is a contrite spirit, a humble contrite, O oh, God, you will not spur. In your goodness show favor design, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, then you will be pleased with noble sacrifice. Holocaust offered on your altar. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as God in the beginning is now and will be forever. Father, is we know no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon the contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience, so that we will enjoy the strength in the Holy Spirit. You will proclaim your peace and glory before all the nations. Lord, wash away, wash away my guilt. Hallelujah. Antiphon 2. Christ bore our sins to his own body as he hung upon the cross. Hallelujah. Let my eyes stream tear with tears day and night without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people over the incurable womb. If I walk into the field, look those who stayed by the sword. If I enter the city, look those who consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest flourish in the land that lay not. Have you cast out Judah out of them? They did sign laws in you. Why you have struck us in a law that cannot be healed? Wait for peace to no avail, for a time for healing, but terror comes instead. But we recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that, I, that we have sinned against you. For your sake, for your name's sake, spare us not, disgrace the throne of your God. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ our, bore our sins in His own body, as He hung, hung upon the cross. Hallelujah. Antiphon 3. Come into the, into the presence, sing for joy. Hallelujah. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Know that He, the Lord, is God. May He make us we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Go within these gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Keep thanks to Him and thank Him blessed His name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, the eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God devoted us as a Father. You created us as a sign of your power. 
and the left it as, uh, as your people to show your goodness accept the things you are children over that all men may enter you, your courts placing you in home come into the lord's presence singing for joy from the acts of the apostles the god of our fathers has raised up jesus whom you put to death hanging him on the tree he who god as exalted as his right hand as ruler and savior is to bring repentance to israel and forgive us of forgiveness of sins we testify to, to this so too does the holy spirit whom god has given to those who that obey him responsibly the lord is risen from the tomb alleluia alleluia the lord is risen from the tomb alleluia alleluia he hung upon the cross for us alleluia alleluia glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit the lord is risen from the tomb alleluia alleluia peace all stand for the canticle of zechariah and the born. whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood shall be in, in, in him alleluia blessed be the lord the god of israel he has come to his people and set them free he has raised up for us the mighty savior born of the house of his servant he be to his holy prophets he promised to go he will save us from our enemies from the hands of all you hate us he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy glory not this was the old this old of father Abraham who set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship in me down here only a righteous in the sight all our days of our life you my child shall be called the prophet of the most high for you will go before the lord to prepare this way to give his people knowledge and salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in a tender compassion of all fire the dawn upon high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow on them and to guide our feet into the way of peace glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever Amen. whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood uh, shall be within me and i intercessions let us pray to god the father who gives us new life to the risen christ give us the glory of your son lord our god your mighty works you have revealed your eternal plan you created the earth and you are faithful in every generation hear us father of mercy give us the glory of your son purify our hearts with your truth and guide them in the way of holiness so that we may do what is pleasing in your sight give us the glory of your son let your face shine upon us that we may free from spirit from sin and free uh, with your plenty give us the glory of your son give the apostles the preach of christ grant peace to your people and to the whole world give us the glory of your son our personal intentions give us the glory of your son our father in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, by your love of your Spirit, may we have experienced the grace of the Lord's resurrection, rise the newness of life in joy. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The Daily Offering O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and we offer you all our prayers, words, joys, and sufferings of this day. In union with the holy sacrifice of the master of the world, we offer them the intentions of your most sacred heart for the salvation of souls, reparation for sins, and the reunion of all Christians. We offer them for the intentions of our bishop and of all the apostles of prayer, and in particular for those who are recommended by our Holy Father for this month, for the month of April. For a culture of peace and non-violence, we pray for the spread of peace and non-violence by decreasing the use of weapons by states and citizens. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil in you. May you may full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Let's not down even unless this the future home in Jesus. Only may our mother God pray for us sinners now that they are her dead. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The vocation prayer habit. Lord Jesus, it told the apostles, pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to this harvest. We beg you, send many and holy priests to the needs of the land and the whole world have mercy on us grant O lord the grace of perseverance and fidelity to those you have called we trust in you mary mother of vocations pray for us saint hannibal pray for us saint john minivianin pray for us saint o lord holy apostle saint dear church bago ang magpaalam sa inyong lahat mga kaibigan nais ko humingi sa inyo ng pananangin sa sa kaluluwa ng aking kaibigan na si Tomas Samson. Uh, may he rest in peace. Our deep, deep, deepest condolences to the Samson family, most especially Nanette Samson, Raymond Green King, and Anna Samson. Uh, thank you very much to all of you for joining our liturgy of the hour morning prayer of virtual night. Have a blessed Thursday morning to all of you and have a good day to everyone. Bye.